In this lecture, we're going to paint the grass tiles with the tile package. Unlike before, the grass tiles will be elevated. They will sit one unit higher than beach tiles. To get started, let's prepare a new tile map. In the hierarchy, right-click on the Terrain Grid Game Object. Do not right-click in an empty area of the hierarchy. Otherwise, Unity will create a new grid. We're not interested in a new grid. A single grid can store multiple tile maps. After right-clicking, select 2D Object Tile Map Rectangular. The new name of the tile map will be called Ground 1 Tile Map. Creating a new tile map is optional. On the other hand, it's considered good practice to keep your project organized. For the new layer, we will separate the grass blocks from the beach blocks. If we were to look inside the beach tile map object, there are dozens of beach game objects. If you plan on redesigning the map, it'll be easier to search for a specific game object. Next, let's begin preparing the brush. Switch over to the Tile Palette window. We may need to update the brush to the Game Object brush. Otherwise, we will not be able to paint with game objects. Next, search for the Green Grass Tile Game Object. Drag the Prefab to the Game Object option. Next, let's adjust the Active Tile Map. Set the Active Tile Map option to Ground 1 Tile Map. If you were to select the wrong tile map, the game objects would be nested in the wrong parent game object. After selecting the correct tile map, let's turn on the brush. Finally, we can start painting. Make sure you're viewing the grid from an aerial view. It'll be easier to paint on the grid. I'm not going to paint the entire map. There's an issue with the current setup. To understand why, I'm going to paint the lower left corner with a few game objects. The objects are being drawn into the scene. However, their positions are incorrect. If we were to zoom in, the grass tiles are not elevated. They sit side by side with the beach tiles. The reason is simple. By default, the overall grid has a Y position of 0. Therefore, all child objects will have a 0 Y position. To elevate the tiles, we must update the Y position to 1. Y1, the height of the tiles is 1 unit. Therefore, their Y position can be set to 1. There are two solutions for tackling this problem. The first solution is to update the tile settings. Under the Tile Palette window, there's a series of settings called Offset. The Offset settings allow us to change the default coordinates of the brush. Let's set the Y Offset to 1. The Y axis controls how high an object is. After setting the Offset, let's enable the brush again. Next, let's adjust the Scene Camera to view the map from an aerial view. Lastly, let's begin painting. After painting a few tiles, we can zoom in to check their position. This time, the game objects are elevated correctly. This solution works, but I have one problem with it. If we go back to the Tile Map Palette window, I'll switch to the Beach Tile Map. Switching to a different tile map does not reset the Y offset. I may accidentally forget to reset the Y Tile Map. If I wanted to adjust a tile map, I would have to check the Y offset before painting. Otherwise, my game objects would have incorrect positions. I'm going to remove the grass tiles by undoing my actions. Next, I'll set the Y offset setting to 0. In my opinion, a better solution is to update the transform data of the parent tile map. In the hierarchy, Select the Ground 1 Tile Map Game Object. Next, switch to the Inspector window. Under the Transform component, set the Y position to 1. By setting the Parent Game Object's position to 1, 
child objects will also have a Y position of 1. Directly modifying the parent is easier than adjusting the offset. If we switch tile maps, we do not need to remember to reset the offset. The tile map editor will automatically add the object to the appropriate tile map. Therefore, child objects will inherit the correct positions. Let's give this a try. Head back to the tile palette window. Next, turn on the brush. View the map in an aerial view. Lastly, start painting. As you can see, the grass tiles continue to be elevated. This time, we don't have to set the offset. That's not to say that using the offset is terrible. I like to use the offset for a few objects. However, if I'm painting an entire tile map, I prefer to set the tile map's position. Let's paint the entire inner area of the map like so. Great! Hopefully, you understand why I left a blank space in the middle of the island. There isn't a reason for beach tiles to exist in the center. The player won't be able to see them. They would get overshadowed by the grass tiles. Just to make sure, move around the scene to verify that every spot was covered. Alternatively, you can use the hierarchy to toggle the visibility of a game object. Next to each game object, there are two icons. You must hover your mouse over the hierarchy to view these icons. The eye icon will hide or show the game objects. I'm going to temporarily hide the ground one tile map game object. As I toggle the visibility of this game object, it becomes clear that we filled it in correctly. The hand icon will lock a game object. This option prevents us from accidentally clicking on a game object. While an object is locked, we cannot move it around the scene. That does it for this lecture. In the next lecture, let's begin drawing on the ground.